I can't remember if I've asked you my current soundtrack. Yeah, question. what did you have for your breakfast? Uh, no, not what did you have for <laughs> breakfast. Favourite programming language? Uh, oh, it's Haskell. Yeah, of course. What's your favourite programming language? BBC Basic. What's that? <laughs> because I learnt it when I was six or seven years old at primary school, and it's the only one I've really learnt. So. Stylistically, Java is probably my favourite. Um, I used that for many years, but now I mostly use Python, but I'm not quite as competent as I'd like to be with it. Favourite? Uh, probably PHP, because it's what I'm best at. Good stuff it's right. messy. Python? Like... Obvious. Obviously. No, like, I've been using Python for... It was the first, like, real language that I ever properly started using in, like, 2000 seven something like that i was in fairly early on python and uh it's now how i think to the point where i can't actually write pseudocode if i try to write pseudocode i write python by accident best language best syntax anyway oh my favorite oh my new favorite programming language is python oh, because okay. you you can do really anything with it it's uh yeah it's pretty amazing oh i don't know about favorite uh they all have their pros and cons uh, I, I work a lot with javascript do you have a favourite programming language? C. C. Yeah, okay. definitely C. C, Python, yeah. PHP. And what's your uh, programming language of choice here? Uh, C, but, yeah, mainly, yeah. Do you program at all? Um, a little bit, yeah. Programming language of choice would be? Uh, Python. So it's not, it's not whether of a Windows PC or, or an Apple Mac? No, right. not anymore, sadly, or happily, or sadly, I don't know. Favourite programming language is fourth. Although I can't actually program in it very much, but th that's the one that I like the most. So what is your favourite programming language? Uh, probably PHP. Favourite programming language? I, you know, I've, I have said in the past that if I were marooned on a desert island, I would prefer to have C. Uh, if I think about what I program on a day-to-day -day basis, I probably most often use awk, and I often use Python for things where awk isn't big enough, or, you know, doesn't scale up to bigger things, and after that, it's kind of a toss-up. JavaScript. Okay. They're going to hate me for that. <laughs> You're not the only one, though. We've had a few of those. What's the reason for that? Why, why do you like it? So, it's just... Like, I used to hate it. It was just then I did an internship doing front-end web development and I actually really, really like it now and using, like, the, the newer versions, like ES6 and that stuff. I really enjoy it. What is uh, your favourite programming language and why? Common Lisp, because I can do anything I want in it. Can you tell me what your favourite programming language is and tell me why? Um... Well... <laughs> I quite like Lisp, but I don't know why, it's a bit stupid. Um, I end up doing a lot of MATLAB, and uh, I, I don't want to like MATLAB, but it's just incredibly useful, so. What is your favourite programming language? Well, I think the better question is if you could only take one programming language to a desert island, what would it be? I'm guessing it's going to be C. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm in total agreement with Brian. I don't totally agree with Brian about every single thing. I really don't, but I'm with him on that one. You know, if you're told there's one and only one, it's got to be able to do low level. And it's harder to do high level object oriented stuff in C, but you can do it if you want to. It would have to be C. Which is your favourite programming language? <laughs> so, uh, uh, HTML. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that That's it? going in. <laughs> uh, I'll see you anyway. Favourite programming language? At the moment, the programming language I'm writing a lot in is 6502 Assembler. I wouldn't say it's my favourite. My favourite programming language? Oh, uh, I guess it's JavaScript at the moment. It's just, you do so much with it, it's hard to. I don't know if I use any other ones. <laughs> What's your favourite programming language? Am basic, I? obviously, because it's basic and people can understand it. More importantly, kids can understand it. And that's why I love it. <laughs> I could understand it as a kid, I got to grips with it, programmed in other languages from there on. Um, but from here, my point of view at the museum, it's just a great language for kids to get involved with. Um, and if they like it, move on from there. Uh, what is your favourite programming language and, and why? What do you use most? Gosh, I mean, the last um, stuff I was writing was in a mill filter in Exim, which is probably not something you've ever heard of. No, that's new to me. What, what's the... Uh, it's, it's, it's a language put together by a guy here who wrote a, a mail um, system that we still kind of use. 
So it's, it's very recondite and obscure and local. But, but basic, basically, I, I prod kids, grandkids, etc., to use Python. Do you program at all? Uh, yes. I mean, a lot of the project involved uh, programming and image processing. What's your favorite programming language? Well, to be honest, I, uh, yeah, maybe I'm mostly used to using MATLAB and I use that a lot in this project to integrate all bits and pieces. Favourite programming language is 68000 Assembler because it's for the Sega Mega Drive. It's uh, the native language for it. Favourite programming language and why? It's getting more difficult actually, I think, but uh, I still like C Sharp the best. Um, I think that uh, if you're programming in Windows, which of course not everyone is and, and people need to be uh, versatile, if you're programming in Windows, it's much easier to get user interface up and running in C Sharp. It's got loads of libraries and it's also a statically typed language, which I like. Oh, my favourite program language? Uh, I'll go with probably an unusual one, which is LabVIEW. It's a graphical programming language. Um, it's actually called G, the thing that drives it is called G, um, which I absolutely despised when I first started off. but. Um, we're starting to get to grips with it, but love it now. So yeah. Good. What do you do? What do you do in it? Just so it's basically you have icons. So you have a front panel and a block diagram. So it's like a circuit diagram, which is maybe why it appeals. So for example, you would have a graph. Let's say you drag a graph, and that would give you an icon, a graph icon. And then let's say you had a signal. So you would um, on here you'd have um, something that acquires the signal that you know, connects to a data acquisition card, then you would feed that into the graph and then the signal would appear. But then you have a whole palette of different tools like Fourier transform spectrum analyzers that you can apply. So, um, but you can also do for loops, while loops, conditional statements, all that. It's, it's a, it's, and what you have to think about is not so much the functions, but the data flow, which is a different way of thinking, so yeah. It's, it's both that it's that deeply ingrained in how I think, but it's also that neat and like, Parsimonious a syntax. Yeah, Python's wonderful. Parsimonious. Now, that's, there's a word I've never heard and used in. <laughs> Pars hang on, parsimonious. Is that actually lit literally a coding? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, it's a good pun, actually. Uh, accidental pun. <laughs> yeah.